Hi and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor and this is... China Mike! From China Guitar Skeptics. So uh, please make sure to subscribe to his channel as well. Please make sure to check uh, the hashtag 42GS1. That's O-N-E, not the, the, the number. O-N-E. Uh, for more content from all fantastic uh, YouTubers. Also, big thank you to RJ uh, Ronquillo. Um, Gabor, who's that to your right? Uh, that that is just... That's the, that's the... That's the... That's <laughs> the... That's the bouncer. <laughs> Here's, of course, Ryan from <laughs> right 60 from Cycle Hum. He's just going to... We're going to have a thing called Ryan Cam, <laughs> and he's got to let us know whether he likes the sound or not. So follow his... Not the playing, just no, the No, no, the sound of the guitar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so follow his facial expressions and you will see whether he likes it or not. <laughs> okay, so let's start off, start off with yours, Mike. Yeah, okay, so I've got this classic um, LP shape, we'll say. Yes. And it's a, a Maybach. Would you Maybach, call it authentic? Maybach. Would I call it authentic? I would call it um, somewhat authentic. Now, as, as a person that has uh, reviewed or at least in, invited to comment and uh, stop people from buying a lot of fakes... I can see straight away that there is a few things that tell me that this is not authentic, which mm. is the, uh, the size of the pickup surround, the neck brake angle, the weight, the crosshead on the bridge rather than the single pin. But it's very, very similar to that style of guitar. And for what it's trying to be, yeah, it's a good weight. And it's Great nice neck. Way. I love but, the neck on that. Yeah, thing. we've clearly got a full on mahogany construction. Um, body and neck we've got what appears to be an ebony fingerboard yep. and we've got a, a flamed maple cat or veneer which is book matched and it's really quite nice lovely top yeah the color lovely is nice maple too. tone yeah i'm not sure if this is solid top i'm assuming at this i'd say it, it would is. be yeah. about as solid as it can be so these are maybach is a german brand made in a czech republic uh, so if you, uh, you know, I think quality, there's a lot of quality there and the price point is pretty good too. Yeah, for so sure. So how about you give us some tunes? Well, what would you like to hear first? Uh, well, at the moment, I think we're going to the Rev D20. Right. Um, oh, actually, we're going into the Scott Dixon um, designed uh, all aluminium uh, flight case kind of blah, blah, blah yeah, speakers. which has got someone's phone on it. Is that yours? That is my phone, cool. yes. Okay. That's why I put it there. You're quite I'm... happy for it to be erased by the, uh, by the magnets in the speakers? Okay, well, then let's not do that then, <laughs> How about I put it over here? <laughs> and we're also using the Lewitt MTP 440s, which yes. is uh, another little sponsor. And 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 I believe that's a hose cable, cable, isn't it? Yes. Funny and we're going into that. a Morley ABY mix uh, and a Strogo Stomper Peterson, which is powered by a Chiox DC7. Wow! It's almost like people pay for this. <laughs> okay. So we'll start with the usual. We'll go with yep. the bridge pickup. Give so. us some cleanage. Beautiful. That's the bridge. Well, uh, well, let's go straight to the neck. Oh, you're wild. Oh, I know. You're wild. <laughs> we do wild. We do that sort of thing in oh, the UK, man. You crazy English people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ryan Cam. <Kemp. laughs> <laughs> we love Ryan Cam. I want Ryan Cam in all my videos from now on. <laughs> we can, can we, have it. Can we have a live feed? <laughs> <laughs> we need picture in picture of Ryan Cam. Okay, and then mixing the two together, we've okay. got... So what I'm doing there is I'm just playing some straightforward basic chords so that you get a feel for the tone. The only thing you can't get a feel for on a video, obviously, is how it feels. This has got a beautifully thick, uh, about, I would say, three quarter to one inch thick neck at the... What, what he said. Uh, at, the, <laughs> at the nut end. And it is, it, the action is really nicely set up and it, it's quite easy to play. It's got a good feel to it and it certainly is responsive, certainly on the cowboy chords. We haven't been anywhere else yet. So cowboy chords, nice and responsive. Beautiful. Do you want some more gain? Let's give you some more gain. How about we go, what's this one? Is that number two? Oh, ho, ho. sounds Free. a little bit more gainy, Free doesn't Hitman it? Small box. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love Ryan Kim. Can I just say, that's the greatest thing ever, Ryan Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
Ryan's happy. Does Ryan approve? It's, I think it's Ryan approve. Oh, now he's back to, not, not so sure. He, he, he only reacts on the tones. Okay, now, so that was obviously on the bridge pickup. Uh, I, I'm not a lead player by any, by any stretch, so. No, you're definitely not, though. No. no, that's right. <laughs> now let's do this one. So this is a, um, what would you call it? Les Paul Jr.? Um, it's what I might call an S... G type, yeah, shoot? maybe, but it's anyway, it's sort of Les Paul Junior S yeah. SG type yeah. kind of thing. Single P90. Uh, let's try the same thing. So, we're going back into the Rev D20 for some clean sound, which sounds suchly. <laughs> I would love to switch pickups, but I can't. So let's go into something a little bit more. Oh, a little bit of fun. Oh, that was an interesting look. That was a. <laughs> that is that is quite noisy. But then that's nothing less than you'd expect from. I mean, it's a single piece, nice single coil. So. But beautiful guitar as well. I love the relicking job they do. My yeah. Bach. They um they seem to really. It just looks good. Uh, it's a bit hard to see probably in all these pictures here, but it's a lovely. Uh, I might I might get some more photos where you can see the relicking. Well, this is very gently relic. The only thing that's relic about this is it's lost its knob. Lost its knob. Yeah. Well, well, you know, some people have that problem. Yes, that's what she said. <coughs> that's um, what she so said. <laughs> he's rubbing off. He's rubbing off. He's rubbing off sadly. Um, that's got a bit. You can see it's up the top there. There's a bit of checking there and marking. Yeah, um, beautiful guitars. Scratches. They are nice guitars. This is a good weight as well. Um, tuners are nice. Cluson style tuners, as you'd expect on this type of guitar. I think the nuts, yeah, plastic or well, bone. No, actually, that's bone. Ooh, wow, bone nuts. Yeah, bone nuts. Yeah. Have you got bone nuts, Ryan? <laughs> He's got bone nuts. Well, on that note, I think uh, let's move on to the nice. next guitar. So yeah, this cool. is part one of my box. Stay tuned for more. Uh, please make sure to subscribe. China Mike as well. China guitar skeptics. Uh, RJ Room Kilo as well, and 60 Cycle Hum. Uh, <laughs> he's happy when I plug him. <laughs> um, please also make sure to subscribe to Henning, follow 42 Gear Street. Big thank you to all the helpers here. Big thank you to everyone. Uh, see you next time. Bye.